All right. I hope you're enjoying the movie so far. I think it's great. And I'm seeing it from a totally different angle since the last time I watched it. I'm telling you, I first watched this movie when I was 11. I'm going to be 44 next month. And every time I watch it, I get more and more downloads. And tonight, it's been like download after download. I'm like, holy shit, man. <laughs> anyway, we're going into the final stretch of the movie called Shattered from 1991. And I hope you're enjoying your second date with me. All right. Shall we? Our times, we're at time stamped 1 hour, 12 minutes, and 21 seconds. So... One, two, three. She's just pulling her shit. I love you, Dan. Haven't you learned that much by now? She's like, I know, I haven't ditched this one. <laughs> Fucking master manipulator later. Thinking she's she can puppeteer everybody with her. Let's face it, she's puppeteering with her pussy, right? Right. So she's flipping the script on him. That's what she's doing. She's trying to mastermind him. Because she doesn't realize he's totally awake. She thinks he's. She played him so bad that she is getting disempowered because he's waking up and he's like, no, 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 no. And the way she's acting is like someone that's like out of control where she lost control of the situation. She doesn't have a handle no more. <laughs> I love seeing this shit. Conniving wenches go down. Bunch of narcissistic people. Yeah. Using people for their money. Like, she's not working. She's like this high-maintenance bitch whose husband's rich. And then she decides that she she wants to have an affair on him. She finds this side lover, and she's going to kill him now for his money. Because the life that he went to university for, built for himself, she wants to take him out and spend... And, Enjoy the life he built for himself with somebody else. And it seems like it's happening everywhere. People wonder why I'm a fucking hermit. This movie is exactly why I'm a hermit and single. <laughs> Hands down, man. I don't want this head fucker. Are you kidding me? Everybody's fucking with everybody's heads. It's like, fuck that. I'd rather read a book and watch a movie. Oh, she's just... Because he's so confused looking for answers, she's kind of like trying to putty him, like puppeteer him, right? And she's like, let's just throw everything we have in a suitcase and take off. She's like, I gotta go somewhere. When we get, when I get back, we gotta go. Well, where the fuck is she going? And somebody's taking pictures of her now. Is that Klein? Who's taking pictures? Now he has a flashback again. It shows the windshield shattering and something's coming back to him. Yeah. My candle is kind of out of control right now. What the fuck? So now he's having a flashback and he's seeing like a flashlight and now he's seeing the shipwreck, right? And he's just shaking on the floor like he's having a serious flashback. He's coming out of his amnesia. That's what happened to me when I'm like realized everybody's trying, what people are like, I knew people were trying to kill me and doppelgang me and the smear campaigns, like when you wake up, you're like, who the fuck fucked up my whole life, right? That's what happened to me. And then I figured out all the players, and I'm like, oh, clean up the fucking mess, you douchebags. That's what happens when you go into self-mastery, into meditation for five years. 
Your family and friends fuck your life up and you have no clue. Because you went offline, you didn't realize that people's reality is all online. Nothing's real. The internet is the devil's playground and that shit has to be shut down. Because everybody's able to easily steal people's identities. Did you know when I worked at Montana's my iPhone, I was listening to my music. And all of a sudden there was crackheads and heroin addicts everywhere and gangster. Like they hired a, a shit. So now I know they were all hired to fuck my life over. But this guy named Steve, he lived by my brother Jordan. All of a sudden, like I always was listening to music on my iPhone. I go home and I'm like, shit, I forgot my phone at work. Go back to work, my phone's gone. And nobody, everybody's like, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it. Well, then somebody at work said to me, yeah, Steve stole your phone. So this guy stole my iPhone, and then all of a sudden he was nowhere to be found. And that's what I mean. He stole my iPhone. So if someone can get a hold of your phone, and they can send messages and, and emails and everything, get on your Facebook, If that's why I don't have a cell phone anymore. Because when that prick stole my cell phone, I'm like, he could be destroying my life. And now, now I know um, how they were fucking with my life. They stole my cell phone. And they were sending messages. on my, Like, I quit Facebook, but obviously they got into all my shit. And they started sending messages and fucking my whole life up behind my back. And because I was offline and working on self-mastery... And total meditation and completely disconnected from the outside world. Yeah, once they got a hold of my cell phone, they fucked my life up. Fucked up, right? And I find out they have some underground pornos of me. I'm like, who the fuck was videoing me? That's what I'm saying. The internet, I think, is the devil's playground. Because people, everybody can pretend to be somebody else and fuck your world up. My email address has been completely hijacked. I don't get any emails anymore. Yeah. So whoever thinks they've been my handler or controller behind my back, they've been controlling all my emails, everything. So I haven't emailed anybody in like a year. <laughs> like I don't bother. Nope. Because that's how quickly people can steal your life from you. Before the internet, that's like I said, it, People don't realize, like, before the internet, you couldn't just steal somebody's identity. You couldn't steal their businesses. I want, this, like, there's got to be either strict laws or the internet needs to be shut down and wiped out completely. I'm serious. It's fucking the devil's playground. I like YouTube, but there's got to be more stricter rules for creators. I really think YouTube is the only thing you should stay up. Get rid of that fucking Facebook and Telegram and all that fucking gospel bullshit. Anything that, like, makes it easy for people to steal people's fucking identities. Anyway. Oh, so, oh, no. Remember his wife left? So he goes to Jeb's house, his best friend's house. He walks in. And he sees his wife laying on the ground, the one that he allegedly was having an affair with before his accident. He turns her over. She's got a fucking knife right through her chest. Right? Well, obviously, his wife did it. Because she left. She goes, I'll be right back. And then we're booking town. Then he goes to Jeb's house. And the woman he allegedly was having an affair with is stabbed to death. Guess who she's going to set it up for, I guarantee you. She's going to make it look like he did it. Because if she can't kill him, she's going to get him put in jail, right? Now, the investigator randomly climb walks in and he goes, he looks at Dan and Dan goes, Hey, you know, I got a call from her because she called him. And she told me to come over. And let's see what the investigator said. He goes, I found her like this. And Klein goes, yeah, I monitored the call. 
See, Klein's saving his ass right now. Klein's his secret little angel he didn't know. As far as I can tell at this point, right? So Klein said he recorded the call. That works in Dan's favor. Klein goes, sit down. You're not going anywhere. He goes, I had a little talk with the valet parking man at the Hacienda. That's what Klein says to Dan, right? He said, he told me the guy in the Porsche wasn't a guy at all. He goes, what do you mean? Where is she? So he goes, where is she? And he, he, Klein goes, I was watching. She left in, Cl in Klein, or Stanton's Porsche, right? And then he goes, yeah. And then Klein goes, well, where does that leave Mr. Stanton? See, Klein's figured it out. It's a twisted story. Yeah, it's like, how, how should I know? Your guess is as good as mine. Klein's like, really? This guy's twisted. So Klein goes, my guess is whatever is left of Stanton is left in that shipwreck. Well, there's some motivation for the, them to sh sink that ship, right? What's going on? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> He pulls out a gun, Danny DeVito. He goes, my guess is you killed him. The night I sent you the pictures, the night you had the accident, my guess is your wife's been covering up for you all along. What the fuck, right? Right? Not what you thought would happen. Guess more twisted. And then he goes, my guess is Jenny Scott somehow put the pieces together. That's Jeb's wife that's dead on the floor as they're having this conversation with a knife through her chest, right? And she was threatening to go to the cops. He goes, I didn't kill Jenny. He goes, what about Stanton? He goes, well, maybe I did, but maybe that's the block the doctors are talking about. He goes, maybe I'm a raging psychopath, but I can't remember. Right? Like, this is, is crazy. This movie just is twisted. This poor guy can't remember shit. So everybody's playing him, right? Don't forget, he's worth a lot of money. Now Klein's on the phone and he's like, get me a lieutenant, so-and-so. It's a mess. So Klein tells the cop, send a cop, or send a cop to this certain address. There's been a murder. We'll see what happens. Yes, 
So now they're driving, I think, out to the shipwreck. Cops are passing him as they're driving away. So now they're driving to the shipwreck. So he had just called the cops just to deal with Jenny's body, right? Whacked out stuff, man. People are such... People are just crazy. Like, nobody cares about anybody's life anymore. It blows me away. So now they're walking through the shipwreck. This is creepy. This ending is so creepy. <laughs> Klein's like, we're going to get a disease. I found all his eyes, my pump are good. Oh shit. Shit, I just got wax on my pee. This candle's a mess. That shipwreck is gross. It's just like stingent. Gross. Oh, he's about to open up this door, this lever door. Oh. And it stinks. And he can see that there's a body in there. Klein goes, it's stent. Oh, and then he, he pulls the body out of the water and is like rotting. So now he's pulling it out. And when he lifts it up and he looks at it, guess what he sees? You won't believe what he sees. He sees his own face. He goes, it's me, with a bullet through his head. It's Dad Merrick. And you see, it shows the two of them. He's looking at himself. Don't you get it? She did kill her husband. And so he's Jack Stanton. Without that's the that's the fuckery. Was they killed her husband, and his face got crushed. And so she gave her. So her lover. She put her husband's face on her lover. And her and her lover murdered her husband. He's like, I'm Jack Sutton. Oh my God. And then so Klein's like, what happened? Like, you got to try and remember. Oh my, like this, it's a mess, right? My candle is screwed right now. Just give me a sec. I got to fix this. So everything's a disaster. Like, he's just finding out he's actually Stanton. Like, shit, man. It's a mess. Absolute disaster. What the frick? I need some light. 
Yeah. Can you imagine that? Pull up the body and it's your face. Well, I guess you had enough my face because my candle's not lighting. He's like trying to remember. And now he's remember. Like, they're intimate. He's remembering. Like, they're, they're getting it on pretty hardcore. It's like a Stooges moment. And all he's remembering is nailing her. Now he's remembering. She called me. She called me at the Hacienda. It was New Year's Eve, right? She goes, come quick. Dan's crazy. He's drunk. Help me. So the drama queen, right? So then Jack... So now he runs to the hacienda, or he, he gets to their house, and Dan's screaming at Judith, and he's drunk, and he's like, you were fucking that bastard, so he caught her having an affair, he's losing his shit. She's like, I love him, and he's like, you'll never see him again, you little slut. And then he not he, so he's abusive. Like he's hit he not he hit her hard. I don't agree with that. So she grabs a gun. She she kills him. She shot him three times, man. Like she she was she killed him. Uh huh. And Stanton, he just gets up and he saw her kill him. So, he's just fucked up. He's like, oh my God. So Jack Stanton's good. And goes, we need to call the police. And psycho little cunt face, she's like, no, 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 no. She's a nutcase. Without you, I'll die, she says. So now he remembers it was Judith. He goes, you were right, she was driving. Now he's unblocking everything, right? And he goes, you're right, she was driving. I had been drinking that night. I left my wallet at the hotel. She drove. And then it's showing them dragging her husband's body to the shipwreck. And she takes out his wallet, right? And she passes the wallet to Jack Stunt. She figured the chemicals would dissolve her husband's body. He goes back in. Is formaldehyde. It's the best preservative known to men. And he goes, then the accident. And you can hear, and now he, he's remembering everything. So she's driving, and Jack Stanton is in the passenger seat. Now he's remembering. And she had said to, you know, Jack, she goes, we head for Mexico now, tonight, right? And he goes, Judith, what do you mean? She's like, we're in this together. And he's he's a good guy. He's like, I'm not running into the sunset like this. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life. And then she realizes he's going to turn her in. And he goes, you planned it this way. And she goes, no, Jack, I didn't plan it. But it happened. Now you have no choice. So she's telling him, she's blackmailing him. She's like, you have no choice. We're in this together. And he's like, no, we're not. So she's trying to blackmail him. So this is down low for somebody. If somebody's trying to blackmail you, they're not going to win. Especially if it's a conniving bitch. 
He goes, I am out of your life. I'm going to the cops. Do you understand me? He's trying to blackmail him. And he's like, we're not into this. You did this on your own. And the chick, oh, Jack, don't say that. You can't just throw me away like that. Fucking build the bitches. And then that's when right at that point, oh, what happens? The car goes out of control. So he unlocked everything. He goes, I guess I gotta call you Jack now, hey? And gives that little Danny DeVito laugh, right? And then there's thunder and a gunshot. Now Danny DeVito just got shot. Right in the fucking heart. Fuck. Judith is just out with her little gun having a lot of fun, huh? She's a psycho. She goes, so now you know. And he goes, you're insane. I had to do it, she says. She's just out killing everybody. Kills Jenny. Kills her husband. Shoots the private investigator. Like, give the bitch a gun and she's wild. Now you know. Fuck. You're insane. Yeah, she is. I had to do it. You don't have to kill anybody. He goes... He and Jenny were the only ones who knew. So she's just killing everybody. Everybody that uh, was about to uh, rat her out. Fuck in that case. Now she's threatening to shoot him. She got the gun pointed at her. Oh! Who shot? He, she was shot at him. I didn't want to hurt you. Okay, psycho. And then she finally calls him Jack. Let's go, Jack. It's a long ride. So she's like psycho. Psycho Susie, man. Psycho. <laughs> She's got a gun pointed at him as she's driving. I had to kill her. She goes, after the accident, when the, when the doctors told me my husband was in a deep coma, I knew it was crazy, but I really had no choice. What I went through to make all this come true. She killed a bunch of people because she became obsessed with a guy. This was all over her going to Mexico and falling in love with a valet worker, dude. She, she started killing, like, over lust. This woman was taking everybody down. Fucking that case. When we first met. It was as if I'd always known you. Like, now she's laying it on thick, right? And now, who used to be Dan, finding out he's now Stanton, he can see in the rearview mirror of the car that there's a helicopter cop following them. So he's happy about this. But now she's fucking with his head. It was as if I'd always known you. She's a psychotic bitch. All these women that are that lay it on thick. We're soulmates. Oh my god. What about the real true twin flames and soulmates? It's such a insult to us. Us people that know we have um, other halves out there that are divine divine connections. And then you have these build a bitches and pricks that are pretending to be Divine. <laughs> They're so karmic. <laughs> what just happened? I was just talking. Hold on. Again? She drove off the cliff again? She did this the first time. Okay. So now they're fighting because she's threatening to shoot him and he gets the gun from her. 
And now the helicopter's like, pull over to the shoulder. And she's just going psycho. <laughs> and then the car goes off the cliff. Boom. Shit. And he jumped out this time. <laughs> I didn't notice that. And Danny DeVito Klein, he's in that, he gets out of the helicopter and runs. And Stanton jumped out. He got sick. Judith, Judith exploded and burnt to death like little witch she was. <laughs> he hops off the asthma pump like he's like, I need, I need a hit, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> He's just looking at the car just burning up. Death to Judith. <laughs> All witches should be burnt when you're an evil witch. Good witches, like light energy witches. I don't. I, those are healers. But those nasty dark witches, they need to all be like Judith. Just drive off a cliff and freaking burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> that was quite the movie. And the happily end ever after is that the wicked witch burnt to death. <laughs> oh, I got a song for that. Burn Baby Burn lyrics. Disco Inferno, I think that is. Burn Baby Burn. <laughs> and it came up. Is it? We'll just do one song um, before we end our date. The Tramps. <laughs> Burn Disco Inferno, and she was such a trap. You ready? Oh, yeah. To my surprise, listen, 100 stories high, people getting loose, all y'all, they're getting down on the roof, do you hear? The folks was flaming out of control, it was so entertaining when the boogie started to explode. I heard somebody say, burn, baby, burn, disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. Burn that mother down, burn, baby, burn, disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> burn that mother down. Satisfaction came in a chain reaction. <laughs> Burning. I couldn't get enough till I had to self-destruct, Judith. Ooh, the heat was on rising to the top, to the top. <laughs> Everybody's going strong. And that is when my spark got hot. I heard someone say, burn, baby, burn, disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. 
Burn that mother down, y'all. Burn me, burn. Tears get <laughs> That mother down. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. I hear music. That makes me know there's a party somewhere. <laughs> Satisfaction came in a chain reaction. Do you hear? Do you hear? I couldn't get enough, so I had to self destruct. Mm. The heat was on, rising to the top. Everybody's going strong. That's when my spark got hot. I heard someone say, burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. Burn that mother down, burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. Burn that mother down, burn, baby, burn. Oh, yeah. Burn that mother down. That was kind of fun. <laughs> is there another song? Is there something good coming on? What is this? That's a good song, but there's no lyrics. Bee Gees? I love the Bee Gees, but I'm not sure which song that is. That's good, too. <laughs> the next one that has lyrics I'll put on before I shut down our days. As long as it says with lyrics and so far. Nothing's got lyrics. Hmm. I said the next thing with the lyrics that came up. Well, it's a uh, mercy me, burn baby burn. Nope, that's not the one. Burn baby burn. What is that? Mercy me. What is this? Do we, well, let's see, there's a reason why, why this came on. Do we know exactly who we are? Mercy me, burn baby burn. We hold the light, but we still listen to the dark. I like the lyrics so far. And it tells us that don't, it, and it tells us we don't, it tell, and it tells us we that don't measure up and it tells us that we'll never be enough. Tell me. Hmm. Ten years ago? I mean, it's a cheesy song, but I like the lyrics. Do we know, do we know exactly who we are? Good lyrics. It's just not my beat, you know? Good lyrics. We are the light, light of the world, light up the night. When will we learn? Now is our time, now is our turn. To burn baby, burn baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. Burn baby, burn baby, ooh, ooh. Burn baby, burn baby. <laughs> Actually, maybe I do kind of like the beat. It's catchy. It is catchy. I'm kind of music prejudiced, too. I got to give new, new stuff a chance. And do we know exactly what we have? Why don't we let it shine while we have the chance? Exactly. It's not so we can earn our place. We shine because we've been saved by grace. Tell me. Nice lyrics. Do we know exactly what we have? 
We are the light, light of the world, light up the night. When will we learn? Now is our time, now is our turn. To burn, baby, burn, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> burn, baby, burn, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Burn, baby, burn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're a city on a hillside, so bright, keep on shining. Oh, take that fire from the inside, outside, keep on burning. We are the light, light of the world, light up the night. When will we learn? Now is our time, now is our turn. Burn, baby, burn, baby, oh. <laughs> Burn, baby, burn, baby, oh, 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 oh. Burn, baby, burn, baby, oh, 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 oh. Burn, baby, burn, baby, oh. Burn, baby, burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Baby. burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn, baby. Well, that was fun. That was actually a cute little song, Mercy Me, eh? Anyway, my lovely Saturday night date. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Saturday, July evening. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed Shattered, Twisted, right? Yes, the moral of it is. Know the difference between love and lust. And know your environment and trust your environment. Because if you ever have a serious accident, there's a head injury or something there. And you want to, and you have to put the pieces of your life together. You better make sure that, uh, you can trust your environment because you never know who's playing you, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I would say sweet dreams, but I think we're going to watch another movie. I just got to juice up this phone a little bit. So if you'd like to join me for another one, well, click on. And we'll keep going. You want to go all night? We can go all night. You want to go all night? It's pulling all nighter. <laughs> hmm. A movie all nighter. We're only on our second date. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Just playing with you guys. <laughs> anyway, love you, YouTube family. I'm going to juice up the phone, and I think we might watch another one. Why? Because I feel like it. I'm awake. All right. Bye.